this YouTube series will cover material that we cover in our Introduction to Astronomy class from a meteorite found in Antarctica from the planet Mars and the search for life, all the way through to supernovas and black holes. So if light is how we gather information, and we'll talk briefly, shortly, about how we gather that information, specifically telescopes. But if light is information, and it travels at a set speed, so the information takes time to get to us, the question is, what is the nature of light? What is light? There were two prevailing theories in physics as this question was being, if you will, resolved over the past couple hundred years. Even though folks had measured the speed of light, they still didn't know what light was. The two prevailing views were that light was some sort of disturbance, some sort of wave. So there were folks who thought light had some sort of wave properties. Just like waves can travel through the ocean, but they're not a property of the water itself. They can travel through the water and carry energy. They thought that light might be traveling through, if you will, the ether even what we thought to be empty space. So light perhaps was a wave. Other reputable scientists, including Newton himself and Albert Einstein, thought light was better described as a particle. In fact, he gave these particles names, he called them photons. So light travels as a particle, specifically as photons that can carry energy and information across space as well sort of like a baseball traveling from one spot to another. It turns out if you're a physicist, this question can absorb an entire semester of discussion. There are all sorts of fantabulous discussions and experiments done to seemingly prove that light is in fact a wave. Yet, at the same time, others say, look, light is a particle. In fact, Albert Einstein's lone Nobel Prize, he probably should have won three or four of them, but his, known, uh, his lone Nobel Prize was for the photoelectric effect, which seemingly proved that light was a particle. So what is the true nature of light as we explore the different types of light to follow? Well, that's easy. We have an answer for that. Light Light's a wavicle. Sort of a strange word to point to here. Okay. Light's a wavicle. Okay, what does that mean? It sounds like a cop-out. It sounds like you don't really know what you're talking about here when we say light's a wavicle. We made up a word to describe it. What we're talking about is light has both the properties of a wave and the properties of a particle. It can be either or, it can be both, it can be some amalgamation of something that's never been seen before. Why should we be surprised? Light is unique in the universe. Nothing travels at the speed of light except light. There's something fundamental about light. So the fact that we don't have a word in our language to describe light isn't all that strange. So physicists made one. Yeah, sometimes you'll look in the book and they'll talk about the wave-particle duality of light. That's just a fancy way of saying what I've just said right here. Light is a wavicle. What I'd like to do in our next segment is talk about what the different types of light are made with. In other words, what's the difference between infrared light and visible light. To do that, the best way to describe it is to use our wave description. We'll start with that in our next segment.